Okay guys, uh, here is the Hans Grohe valve. Um, this is the TB2. And uh, the TB1 can also be taken apart like this. So what you want to do is take your channel locks and place them over the housing. Okay? Let me adjust these a little more. Okay, take those over the housing. Now, you take a crescent wrench, you could also use channel locks or whatever, and you wanna put it over the valve, like so. Then, you can pull apart the the cartridge you can pull apart the cartridge not the valve sorry I said valve I meant to say cartridge and you want to make sure you're going the right way so this let's see if I can adjust a little more here let's adjust the camera oh okay here we go okay there we are okay so once again there's a better view okay let's say this is the top okay so you're looking at this from the top down on the shower. So, you want to hold the housing. Then, when you have the housing held, give the sticker there. Okay, now that I have the housing held, I can then remove the cartridge just you know it's it's in there pretty good it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be easy it's definitely not gonna be as easy as uh the lady makes it look in uh the hans growy uh youtube video her uh on the hans growy youtube channel <laughs> so as you can see you put a little muscle into it <laughs> and it will go out Okay, then you can keep turning and eventually that core or the cartridge will come out. And there it is. This is the cartridge for um, Hans Grohe TB2. It's, uh, I believe it ends in 86,000 as far as the part number. There's also notice that it's gray here and it's shorter. The TB1 will be longer. This cartridge will not work in a TB1. I've tried it and there were leaks. This, 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 this valve is very sensitive. I would not recommend Hans Grohe if I had a contractor, a plumber, anybody saying that they want to install a Hans Grohe valve in my bathroom, I would say no. I would never get a Hans Grohe. It is way, way too sensitive, too expensive. It just breaks way too easily. But anyway, so that's how you do it. Take your cartridge. Remember, this needs to stay still. If this turns, you need to buy yourself another valve because that means that you just snapped this piece off and if that piece snaps off, you now have leaks. It's a, it's a pretty big leak too. It just shoots right out, right through that hole. So that's all I want to show you. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments section. And um, yeah. And if you notice, you can see here, this is what I was saying is you can't use the TB1 disc on the TB2 because if you see, the holes don't line up and they don't close either. It may look like it's closing on the video because you see white, but if you look on the 
you can see water could definitely get through there. There's no way that this closes using a TB1 on a TB2. So you always need to make sure you have the correct part. And what really sucks also about Hans growing is that this stick, this is a sticker. So if this gets rubbed off somehow, you have no idea what part you have. The only way you can do it then is to look at the bottom and to compare it to pictures you see online. Uh, on like uh, the Ferguson website, for example, has pictures um, of the valve. I'm actually not sure if they have pictures of the ceramic disc. So you might have to look it up some other way. I don't know. I <laughs> just forget Hans Grohe. Forget Hans Grohe. Just trust me. If you're installing a new valve in your house, do not install Hans Grohe. The trim kit, do not install Hans Grohe. That's the best advice I can give you.